Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today at the request of a commenter called Jelly Donuts uh, we're going to be doing a fuel guide video for the Mario Collectible Blind Bag Series 4. I did do a pseudo fuel guide inside my review for this which you can find posted uh, yesterday. I'll put a link right now for you as well. However, I figured I'd just do a separate video because it was requested and also just in case you don't want to watch the full review. Now I have the characters right now in order of easiest to feel to hardest to feel in the bags so without further ado let's just get started. So the very first character is going to be the Freezy here, and this is by far the easiest character in the entire series to feel. You just have to look for these giant slope pieces. They stand out incredibly uh, in the bag, and they're super, super easy to find. You're not going to have any problems with that whatsoever. The next character is going to be the Penguin here, and again, you're going to look for these slope pieces, specifically these two wide ones as well. They're much shorter than the longer slope ones from the Freezy, so you're going to have no problem with that. So it's two of the small ones and two of the large ones, so there's four as opposed to just two. That one's very, very simple. Next, we have the Mecha Koopa, and this character is the only character in the entire series to come with Technic pins. There's two black Technic pins, as well as a very nice key piece. There's an extra one included in the bag as well. Personally, I felt for this Technic pin piece here, it's the yellow one. It has two holes, and it's curved. Very, very unique. Uh, definitely very easy to find that. The next two characters kind of go hand in hand. We have the B character and then the um, Parabitty Bun. Now, both of these are the only two characters in the series to come with these clear glass display stand parts. So it's very simple to find that part in the bag. Just feel for that. And then if you want to get the Parabitty Bun, feel for the giant molded wing piece or perhaps these two uh, cylinder pieces. Very simple. And for the Bumblebee, the easiest way I can say to find this guy is just feel for the absence of giant wings. If you can't feel wings, it's not going to be the Parabitty Bud. You can also try to feel for the Pyramid Cone piece or the tiny wings because they have one stud and then a very uh, strange curve piece there. Uh, that's pretty much the best ways I can think to differentiate these two characters. That leaves us with just these five characters. Next up is going to be the Bully. Now, this was the hardest character for me to find just because they didn't seem to stock him anywhere, but he was honestly pretty easy to feel in bag. His horns are going to be the easiest piece. These are completely unique to him, specifically this curve piece right here. There are two of those. Very, very easy to feel because no one else really has curved pieces like that. He also has a three wide uh, footprint stun. There's only one other, uh, two other characters, excuse me, with that piece, the Penguin and the coin coffer. So once you find the three wide feet, you know, can narrow it down. He also has a fire piece, which is only shared with one other character, that being the ant Schumer. So it's pretty easy to find once you get that. Just four characters left. Uh, next, we have the Goom Brat. And this character, I would feel for either this plant piece, which is unique to that character, or perhaps from his stand, we have two of these uh, curved pieces. If I can pull one off for you. Well, there we go. Uh, so that's the only kind of two, uh, two by one kind of curved piece in the set. But honestly, the best way would either be to find these very small, because there's five of those included, uh, or just really the plant piece, because he's the only character with a plant piece. The Coin Coffer is the only character in the series to contain four of these uh, cylinder pieces. He also has a three wide stud feet, which is only shared, like I said, by two other characters. I felt him, I, I specifically felt for that star piece because it's very unique. There are two of them in the set. However, a good way to double check yourself is to find either the large curved sand piece he's on for his base or all of those individual brown tubes. Just two characters left. The Ant Schumer is honestly relatively easy. Uh, this character has very nice superhero jump pieces as part of his antenna. Uh, those are pretty unique. He also has a fire piece. Um, there's three characters in the series that have fire. It's these two characters and the bully we already took a look at. But um, just be careful you don't confuse these guys because they can be very similar because we both have fire and both of these curve pieces. Uh, so it's a little easy to get them mixed up. But honestly, once you find superhero jump pieces, you're good. And the very last character is going to be the scaredy rat here. Now for this character, I would recommend finding the tail. There's going to be two of these horn pieces included. You need this character. He also has a lot of these uh, strange dome pieces if you want to find that. That's not necessary a surefire way. If you also find these uh, one by two brick pieces, they have a bit of a texture to them. That's kind of unique. If you want to find that, uh, that also would be a surefire way to figure out which character is which. Definitely, this series is one of the hardest uh, character packs I've ever had to feel in the bag. Literally, it took so much longer to get both collect this series because it was like harder to find. And also just like when I'm feeling them, I really like had to go through and I ended up getting a couple duplicates, not necessarily because of feeling issues, mostly because the employees didn't stock it and would just give me random packs. And I didn't feel like feeling them because 
I was lazy and I definitely paid the price for that. But yeah, no, it was honestly much harder than I was expecting. It was definitely the hardest of all four series. So if you guys are trying to get a complete one and feel your uh, own bags and everything, I wish you the best of luck and I hope this field guide helps you. Shout out again to Jelly Donuts for requesting this video. If there's anything you guys want to specifically see, make sure to request it in the comment section down below. I'll get to it as fast as I possibly can. Thank you guys. Have a fantastic and safe rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the very next video.